What is up everybody? It's your girl Stephanie and thanks for joining me again. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Steph and on this channel we talk about everything fragrance. And in today's video, you guys, as you can see by the title, we are doing my updated perfume collection. I don't really have like too, too many fragrances, but I also don't have a very little collection like other people. So it is a pretty large collection, but um, yeah, you guys, I am currently, as you guys are watching this, I am recovering from surgery, and so I am going to also be doing a little mini declutter to help with my surgery costs. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into my collection. And yeah, I'm gonna do bottle by bottle. Uh, this is gonna be quite a long video, you guys, so go ahead and grab a snack. This one right here, is from the brand Way, and this is Mercer Street. Uh, it's fresh and uh, a little bit citrusy, a little bit floral, um, but definitely like a fresh soapy fragrance. Then we have Gedlan uh, La Petite Robe Noir Eau Fraiche. This is one of my most worn fragrances this is a love of mine. It's citrusy. There's a little bit of greenness in there. It's very fresh. Uh, there's a tart cherry in here. It's so nice. Next one that I have is Casablanca from Swiss Arabian. I love this fragrance so, so much. This fragrance right here um, is very sweet it reminds me of fall time it reminds me of going to the pumpkin patch and just hanging out with the family like this is this is the kind of vibes that this gives me it's very sweet very inviting or another fragrance in my collection is lolita land from lolita limpica and this has a really pretty little deer with wings on it this is um a really pretty peachy fragrance whenever the we weather's colder this is when i recommend it the next one that I have is Amo Ferragamo from Salvatore Ferragamo. And this is an orange cream soda with some vanilla ice cream on top is how I would like to describe it. And this just reminds me of summer. Uh, the next one that I have is from an indie brand and his name is Aaron Terrence Hughes. And this is Onyx. And this is a 10 mil. I wasn't gonna show my smaller bottles, but because these are so beast mode. I mean, literally, I feel like you only need a 10 mil of his fragrances. The next one that I have is Burberry Her from Burberry. It is a little bit of touches from Baccarat Rouge, but it's definitely its own fragrance. There's a lot of strawberry in here, and it's very, very airy and very tooth achingly sweet. Uh, for the girly girls out there, this is just absolutely perfect. Another girly perfume is from Parfums de Marly, and this one is Delina Exclusive. And you guys have probably seen this so many times on my channel, have seen it on other people's channels because it's truly a work of art. I would go as far as to say that this is a masterpiece of a fragrance. There's been so many fragrances, um, you know, in the designer realm that have tried to... Uh, you know dupe this one or make it similar or give it touches of this fragrance and um you know none of them compare <laughs> this is just this is a work of art it's a masterpiece i absolutely love it um let's go with kkw and chris collab this is from kim kardashian uh her collab with her mom and this that's what it's called it's kim and chris and this bottle, you guys, is so darling. The cap right here, you guys, is so sturdy and it's really weighty. So A plus for the packaging. And the scent in here, it smells very similar to Narcotic V from Nasamoto. So if you like fragrances like that, just really sweet, light and airy white florals, you would really, really love this. Next fragrance that I have is from one of my favorite brands that I discovered in 2021. Well, actually, yeah, in 2021, end of 2020, and that is Kayali. And this is my baby, Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. It will always be in my collection. I will keep repurchasing. I'll probably get the bigger bottle. Next fragrance that I have is a Freshie. 
and this one is from Moschino and this is I love love this is a good cheapy you guys I love this this is very nostalgic to me because I used to wear this a ton the next fragrance that I have actually my husband kind of took over it because it is targeted to men but I did want it in my collection to wear it actually it's my son of the night today <laughs> and this one is Victor and Rolf's um, spice bomb extreme um, this is gorgeous this has this I really want tobacco vanille from Tom Ford and this just suffices that craving for me <laughs> it's a great one that you can share with your boyfriend ladies so um, or that your boyfriend can share with you <laughs> in my case okay next one that I have is from Guerlain and this is on salons it's pretty much violets that are just dipped in like the sweetest syrupy goodness <laughs> um, it's really clean but there's a really pretty fruity sweetness it's really really beautiful I still really really very much enjoy this fragrance I I'm happy to have it in my collection and that bottle is absolutely perfect next fragrance is from Ralph Lauren and this is called woman intense I have smelled the original woman and I really really do love that one as well I actually would love to add it to my collection but having woman intense I feel like they're very similar and I love that it opens up like a little flask like that and my husband he loves this fragrance he I feel like he's a white floral kind of person and I'm a white floral girl too so next fragrance I fell in love with in 2020 and this one is my way eau de parfum such a beautiful versatile fragrance very juicy um, sweet if you are typically not a fan of tuberose I feel like you would really really enjoy this still it's very likable very crowd-pleasing you cannot go wrong next one is alien from Mugler this is such a classic you guys <laughs> this is I don't I don't even need to talk about this one that much but alien is just iconic uh, the next one is a celebrity fragrance and this one is from Ariana Grande and this is cloud and she's in her beautiful little cloud normally it's not a something I'd go for because you know it looks very juvenile the packaging but the fragrance in here is so beautiful and light and airy but yet it's a little bit dense uh, a lot of people compare it to Baccarat Rouge 540 there is some similarities some touches uh, but it's I, I wouldn't say it's a full-on dupe but you you know you get the same idea next one is Si Passione from Giorgio Armani if you guys have been watching my channel you guys know what a love this is for me what a win this is for me um, this is very very fruity um, it has all my favorite notes in here so that's C Passione the next one that I have is from Gallagher fragrances and this is one of my niche fragrances and this is amongst waves you guys if you've never experienced Gallagher fragrances it, they're a must you get this really beautiful honeydew melon note that opens up really juicy and and fruity it's so nice um, you get some green apple so it feels a little bit clean and then um, it, it then it goes into a more aquatic more masculine type of realm but you do get that honeydew note throughout this one is also another Mugler and it's actually a flanker to my alien and this one is alien flora futura and you guys I cannot get rid of this one well firstly because I feel like maybe not a lot of people would buy it because it's there's people who love this fragrance and there's people who just don't love it and I understand why people wouldn't love it because it's not like the original alien there's not that mysterious aspect like the original alien does but this is still such a unique fragrance it smells like a desert flower with some citruses <laughs> and like that alien DNA the next one that I have I've actually been 
<laughs> it's actually not part of my collection, but it is right now. So I just am going to include it because I think it eventually will make its way into my collection. And this is um, from KKW and this is Crystal Gardenia Pear and Peony. This is just a very clean fragrance. It's very fresh and fruity. Um, this is just like a good on the go fragrance for whatever time and for how well it's priced. I think that this is, this is great. The next one that I have, this is Mont Blanc Signature. There's a lot of mixed reviews on this, but this definitely does smell like clean laundry. Very clean, very creamy. It, to me, it smell, it smells like a frothy, citrusy drink this is another one that i enjoyed i i talked it up so much during spring and summer of last year and this one is dolce and gabbana the only one intense this fragrance is so beautiful it's one of my favorites dolce and gabbana the only one intense i feel like this will be always in my collection this has some neroli in it it doesn't bother me. It's very well blended in here. It's not a star note or a star player in this in this juice, but uh, this is definitely one of the best from Dolce & Gabbana. With part two, I wanted to give you guys a different uh, vibe for the second part. So why don't we start off with what's near my tray area, um, just because we're here already. So, um, First one that I have is from Kaali, and this is actually a hair mist. There we go, that's actually much better lighting. Uh, so this is Deja Vu White Flower Hair Mist from Kaali. This is so beautiful, it smells just like their Deja Vu White Flower perfume. I'm a big fan of it, you guys know that I love white florals. So this was definitely a good investment for me. Next Kaali thing that I have is Citrus 08. And you guys know that this is my absolute, one of my absolute favorites. This is my second bottle that I've purchased of Citrus 08. Um, if you guys are into citrusy perfumes, it's like a touch of citrus and uh, it dries down to like a musky floral fragrance it's really really nice um very elegant uh but yet nice for every day and it won't offend people the next one that we have back here is shagaf oud from swiss arabian this just smells rich that's like the best thing that i could say about this fragrance it smells rich lavish um it'll probably take me a lifetime to go through it because it's so strong Next one that I have right here is from YSL and this is Lieb. I love this fragrance. I love the aesthetics of it. The bottle is absolutely stunning. <laughs> it is like the bottle of my dreams, honestly. Only annoying thing about the bottle is actually what makes it so beautiful and it's this thing. It constantly falls off and I have to like re-glue it back up again. So if you guys see these close-ups, I don't know if you guys can see all the times I've glued it, but still love it. It still smells amazing. This is like a slightly cologne-y. It's, it's just a boss woman uh, fragrance. And this one, this next one is Alien Essence Absolute. This is one of my uh, fragrance unicorns. I absolutely adore this fragrance. It is... Um, just a love for me. I love this more than the original Alien. Uh, you can fight me on that one, but this is uh, the better version of Alien, and I'm sad that Mugler discontinued it because this is this is perfect. This is absolute perfection in a bottle. The next one is from Kaali, and this is Deja Vu White Flower. Love this fragrance. You guys heard me just right now saying about the the hair mist, but the fragrance is so beautiful. You get a lot more of the vanilla than in the hair mist. I feel like in the hair mist you get more of the florals, but in this one you definitely get more of that rich, beautiful uh, vanilla 28 DNA. Um, and I think that this is this is just stunning. The next one is another classy fragrance. This one just makes me feel put together. 
and rich. And this is number five low from Chanel. So this has the original Chanel number no. five DNA, um, except uh, this is a little more citrusy, more sparkling, and a little bit more youthful. But you do have to still like your aldehydes to love this uh, and to want to wear it because this this definitely still smells like Chanel number no. five, but it's a more modern take. Well, I wasn't gonna include any ten mils, but seeing as this is on my tray, I guess it'll be the only exception. Uh, I did have it in the original little Maison Margiela um, travel, like the the travel container that it came with, but I, I decanted it into a bottle because I wanted to spray it, but this is beautiful. Um, it does lean masculine to my nose, uh, just like a lot of other people have said, but I definitely think that it is unisex, and um, this is this fragrance does something to me. I don't wear it that much. It's one that I have to be in the mood for. But yeah, Jazz Club from Maison Margiela, the replica line. Next one that I have is from Chanel again, and this is Gabrielle Essence. This is the better version of their Gabrielle fragrance. I said what I said, you guys. <laughs> and I don't take it back because Gabrielle to me was very, very boring, but this just gave, this just gave what needed to be given to me. <laughs> And uh, I got this for my birthday last year. It was one of my fragrances that I bought myself. And this is just a great everyday fragrance. You cannot go wrong with this in your collection. Let's move on to this bad boy back here. And this is from Maison Lancome from their private collection. And this is Lavandis Trianone. Can we take a moment for this bottle? Stunning, stunning fragrance. This is a lavender lactonic this is lavender lactonic goodness uh, it smells like a lavender sugar cookie to me it has a butteriness to it it's just so cozy perfect bedtime fragrance um, I would wear it out but probably only in like the fall and winter time <laughs> the next one uh, is from the house of BDK parfums and this one is tuberose imperial or tuberose imperial <laughs> from BDK. Um, what can I say? This is two, like a tuberose lover's dream right here. Uh, there's a little bit of yellow florals. Um, it's slightly tropical. It's really, really beautiful. I feel like you could wear this year round as well, but um, I love it more for spring and summer, in my personal opinion. I think that's when it shines the most. So the next one that I have is from the house of Mugler. And this one is Angel Muse. You guys, so many times I've wanted to declutter this fragrance, but I can't get myself to do it. There's something in here that I love, yet I can't wear all the time. So this definitely is one that I have to be in the mood for, but I love it. It's a patchouli hazelnut fragrance. There's this really pretty brightness at the top, very spritzy and delicious. Uh, this is not a safe blind buy whatsoever. You have to really love your patchouli and you have to like um, patchouli with chocolatey nuances type fragrances. It's really hard to explain because this is so unique, but it's such a powerhouse. It's so strong and so bold. Uh, definitely for the bold girl. Next one is an absolute love for me. I love this fragrance so, so much. And this is from Maison Margiela again. And this is Bubble Bath. Uh, this was a really surprising, <laughs> this took me by surprise because I didn't think I would love it as much as I do now. Uh, actually, when I first smelled it, I was a little underwhelmed, but now it is just an absolute love for me. It's very cozy, very clean, comforting. A very nice soapy fragrance um, I love wearing this it smells like lavender fabuloso to my nose uh, really really nice love 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 another Maison Margiela I have two of them so I might as well just show you all of them um, two more of them sorry and this one is by the fireplace you guys I think this is all I need actually the baby bottle I was thinking like, oh, maybe I need the bigger one, but I think that this baby bottle will 
suffice for now. Um, if I do run through it pretty quickly, I may pick up the big one, but this is one that I have to be in a mood for as well. But I did find myself reaching for this a lot during the winter time. Um, I would spray it on my wrists and it would help me go to sleep. It was cozy. And the last Maison Margiela that I have is Coffee Break. If it'll focus, there we go. Coffee Break. This is such a lovely lavender fragrance um, that is supported by these really cozy milk notes and spicy notes. Like black, I think this has black pepper in it. It's really, really cozy, you guys. If you want something cozy, something to help you wake you up, this is it right here. The name is a little bit misleading because it, and the juice color, you would think it smells like straight up coffee, but no, it has coffee nuances, but it's definitely more lavender and milk that I get in here. And this was in my top 10 for life. <laughs> and this is Olympia by Paco Rabanne. This will always be in my collection, you guys, I think, because I love it more now than when I was wearing it a lot more back then. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but uh, I need a bigger bottle of this <laughs> because I feel like I will be finishing it this year. Finally this year, I feel like I'll be finishing it. So that is Olympia from Paco Ravan. Great performance, you guys. Um, longevity is great uh, projection is great I could smell it Dr throughout the whole duration that I was wearing it I could definitely still smell it and I still had such a beautiful bubble around me of vanilla salty goodness the next one that I have is another one that you guys see very very often on my channel and I won't shut up about and this is Zara's musk 004 you guys, I love this fragrance. If it is discontinued, please, someone let me know. I don't know if the rumors are true. I have been told by two people so far, and I really hope that it's not because I absolutely adore this. This is one of my most used fragrances from last year. I could not put it down. I, You guys, literally, this was my scent of the day today. Before I, sp <laughs> before I sprayed Spice Bomb Extreme. Next one is a very special one. This reminds me of my husband. And this reminds me of the year that we got pregnant. Um, I wasn't pregnant yet when I wore this one. This is a Peony and Blush Suede um, from Jo Malone. I wasn't pregnant when I wore this one yet. But it reminds me of that summer when we were talking about you know, us wanting to get pregnant and uh, wanting to have a child <laughs> and what we would name our kid if we had a boy, if we had a girl, you know, we just talked about so many things uh, during that time and it's not one that I wear very often because I was saving it for a special occasion but I feel like this springtime, I really am going to go ham on this because I don't want it to turn. Um, the juice is definitely darker than it used to be so definitely I don't I don't want this to go to waste because it was so expensive you know but yeah this is a really pretty floral fragrance for the springtime another one that I have is from Volgari and I have two actually from this same line and this is Volgaria Omnia Crystal Coral you know I didn't get as much use out of this uh, in the summertime as I was hoping but I did I did make quite a dent as you guys can see um, this is a very beautiful uh, tropical fragrance. I can picture myself wearing this on a Hawaiian getaway. Um, it's very beautiful, very pretty, very easy to understand, very likable, and it lasts a pretty long time on my skin. So I love it. Love this one so, so much. Volgaria Amia Crystal Coral. And the next one that I have from the Omnia Coral or Omnia Volgari Omnia line is Paraiva. This is such a unique fragrance, you guys. This smells like a mango chocolate dream. That's what this smells like to me. It's very, very fruity. Uh, there's a prominent, uh, oh my gosh, I think it's passion 
fruit or passion flower, but to me it smells like mango. Like there's some sort of mango in here. This has depth. Um, it's very, very unique. Um, I have nothing at all like this in my collection. Nothing that it reminds me of. This is this is so pretty. Um, I got this during the fall time, so I have not been able to actually wear this one. But this one, it truly is tropical though. This, this is truly a tropical dream fragrance. Next one that I'm going to talk about, y'all already know, it's one of my other babies in my collection. And this is Gris Charnel from BDK. Gris Charnel. BDK Parfum. Uh, this is just stunning. What can I say? Cardamom, black tea, and sandalwood is the main players in this fragrance. You gotta love your spicy fragrances. You gotta love your woody fragrances, especially sandalwood. If you love something like Santal 33, you're gonna love this fragrance right here. Um, there's a really pretty iris note that sticks out to me uh, and makes this fragrance, uh, you know, perfectly unisex. So, Gris Chardonnay from BDK. I was gifted this for Christmas, and this is L'Interdite Rouge from Givenchy. Can we take a minute for this bottle, you guys? How stunning is this red? Ugh. Um, this is a tuberose fragrance. It's slightly spicy and green. Very interesting, very different. Um, I love I love this interpretation of tuberose because I have nothing that is tuberose that smells like this. Um, very interesting, very unique. This is this next one is just a pretty girl fragrance. And this is Idole by Lancome. Zendaya looks so pretty in the campaign. I absolutely adore how she looks. Um, and I adore this fragrance. As you guys can see, I'm almost out of it. This was a secondhand purchase. I got it off Mercari, but it was maybe up to here. So I ran through that pretty quickly. The next one, uh, like I had mentioned earlier, this is my backup bottle of Alien Essence Absolute. <laughs> I got this secondhand and I got it for a good deal. So I figured that I would just pick this one right up. Um, but this is the original Thierry Mugler version of Essence Absolute. Um, I did do a, com I was going to do a comparison video. I don't know if I ended up doing it, but there is a difference in both. Uh, formulations this one is much deeper darker richer uh, a lot more dr. peppery <laughs> I guess you could say than the uh, Mugler version but uh, yeah both are absolutely beautiful fragrances those two right there um, so vanilla bourbon is like a woody vanilla fragrance it's very nice, very nice affordable fragrance. Definitely recommend it for those of you who are tight on a budget but want something that smells like vanilla and it's unique, you know what I mean? Well, it's not too unique, but it's still it's still a good cheapy fragrance and it's from the Mix Bar brand at Target. Really nice. And Cloud Musk, and I actually love pairing Cloud Musk and Vanilla Bourbon together. And if you're really tight on a budget, you could do the um, body mists and they layer very well as well. And the next one is Flora Botanica. Love this one. You guys, this is such a beautiful take on rose. It's translucent, it's fresh, it's green, very, very unique. I'm really sad that this is discontinued, but I'm glad that I have a bigger bottle of it now um, I love it I love it this is a lifer for me I think as well um, something that if I can keep repurchasing I will keep on repurchasing it's one that I've fallen out of love with if I'm being quite honest with you guys but this is Aqualina Pink Sugar for what it is it's great I think that this is a good beginner fragrance for anyone who's just getting into fragrances who loves sweet girly fragrances but that has a twist to it because I feel like this isn't 
super immature of a sweet fragrance. I think it is young, but it's not like teeny boppy, like 13 year old. You know what I mean? You can get away with this in your early 20s and still smell grown. Um, so for that, I do love it. The juice does turn after a while because of the amount of vanilla that's in here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one that I don't reach for as much as I used to. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, it's still a great one. So Pink Sugar from Aqualina. The next one that I have is from Montel, and this is Intense Cafe. You guys probably could hear it in the background before I, I put it on the screen, but this is beautiful roses, vanilla, and coffee in the background. Love it. I've said before, it reminds me of a cafe in Paris covered with roses, <laughs> and they bring you your latte to your table, and it's just, that's what it would smell like. Uh, the next one is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Eau de Toilette. I have this for nostalgic purposes. This was my, this literally was my signature scent in high school. And I got a lot of compliments. A lot of people like to shit on this fragrance, but this, this fragrance still gets compliments, you guys. I still compliment people that wear this. So, and, and I know when they're wearing it too, but I, I absolutely adore this fragrance. I don't care what anybody says. I love it. It's a great, great classic. Um, and yeah, Dolce and Gabbana's Light Blue Eau de Toilette. So the next one was actually a gift from my brother. And this is Mon Guerlain from Guerlain. This is the original EVP. Not my favorite, you guys. Uh, very hyped up. I prefer the Bloom of Rose, which I'll be talking about quite shortly. So um, yeah, Mangarlan Eau de Parfum. I absolutely love this next one. And this is Lancome's Jasmine's Marzipan. This is a clean, beautiful, sophisticated, sparkling jasmine fragrance. Uh, this is like walking into a garden of jasmine bushes and just seeing uh, white blossoms everywhere in the springtime. That is what this gives me. It is warm enough that you could wear it year round. Um, and yeah, love it. This one is also from Lancome, but it's just from the regular range. And this is La Noi Trésor Nude. Look at this bottle. This is gorgeous. Uh, this is like a coconut lime vanilla fragrance. Very nice for the summertime. Is it anything special and unique? No, but it's nice. And she's pretty. She's she's giving. She's giving looks. You guys, my arms are killing me. <laughs> my arms are killing me. Number three, L'Empératrice. You guys know this. Oh my gosh. I would not shut up about this. And I still feel the same. But I didn't give her much love this summer, you guys. What? I didn't give her much love this summer. But I do still enjoy it. This is beautiful watermelon, kiwi, tart goodness. The next fragrance that I have is from Narciso Rodriguez. But Pure Musk from Narciso Rodriguez. Love this fragrance. Such a beautiful, musk, clean fragrance. Very squeaky clean. This is perfect for like people who work in healthcare, for people who are in an office where they're like, hey, you can't wear heavy scents. This is beautiful. It's, it's a great performer. It's very long lasting without being obnoxious. Next one is another Jasmine fragrance and this is Amouage's Portrayal Woman. Portrayal Woman. What can I say? This is challenging in every single way. This does smell very... It's very tobacco heavy, you guys. So it, it does have a cigarette -y nature to it. But look at this bottle. Ugh. 
you cannot wear this just to wear it. Like you have to have an occasion for it and it has to be cold enough because I feel like this type of jasmine you have to only wear in the cold because of how intense and bold it is. Next one that I have is from Givenchy and this is Dahlia Diamond. Beautiful bottle, isn't it? Beautiful bottle, beautiful fragrance. This has a lovely apricot note. Um, this is classy, sophisticated. Uh, honestly, this is a, a great one for any occasion <laughs> as well. Uh, this is more of a fall time for me just because that apricot note, um, just because of the apricot note. And it just gives me fall vibes. Um, day and nighttime for fall. This is absolutely stunning. I have another Guerlain, and this is La Petite Robe Noire, Black Perfecto. Yes, this is like the bad ass sister of La Petite Robe Noire, La Petite Robe Noire au Fraiche, and even the original, but this has leather rose patchouli. I have to be in a mood to wear this. I, I can't just wear it to wear it, but um, I love I love this bottle. I love the studs that go around like the cap. <laughs> it's so cute. The next one is an absolute love. Uh, I don't give it enough love though, but I do love this fragrance. And this is Pure Poison from Dior. Look at this bottle, you guys. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I love this fragrance. Uh, it's definitely, it's definitely a very clean white floral beauty. Perfect for a bride. I will say it time and time again, it's perfect for a bride. Next one is another Guerlain. You can tell I love Guerlain. You, you cannot go wrong with them as a company for fragrance. And this is Mon Guerlain Bloom of Rose Eau de Parfum. This is my get, my Mongerland, okay? This is my version. I want to try the Intense, but this is my version. This is, this has become one of my babies, you guys. The next one is from the House of Kaali again, and this one is Amber 23. Invite only, yes. Wow, this bottle is beautiful. I love it so much. You know, it has the, the cherry in there, tobacco. I really, it's so blended that I don't really pick up any other notes. Uh, probably the most prominent thing to me is like the woody notes and the cinnamon because I, I just find this so spicy. But I do really, really enjoy it. Not one that I would repurchase, but I do enjoy it and I will keep it as long as I have it. Dream Moon by Pacifica. This is another cheapie that I picked up at Target. It's nice. It reminds me of Cloud, but this is more dense. You guys, this is really powerful. Be careful. Don't spray near your face. You, especially if you get asthma attacks or anything like that, please be very careful. I don't, I don't get that, but I feel like I could not breathe when I sprayed this. Um, it, it's really strong. So spray away from your face but yeah dream moon it's it's similar to cloud it doesn't have the baccarat rouge vibe like cloud does but you know it's a great cheapie the next one that i have is from hermes and i actually want to discover this house a little more i think that they have great offerings but anyways the one that i have is eau de merveille bleu this was a lovely surprise i used a ton of it this summer as you guys can see, because the, I got this brand new in the summertime. It's a nice aquatic fragrance that's targeted for women. Yas. Um, I love it. It's really, really beautiful. Very nice beach scent. You know, if you've been looking for an aquatic fragrance that doesn't lean too masculine, this one is perfect. The next one is another Narciso Rodriguez and this is the Rouge version. This is the red cube. So gorgeous. Such a beautiful rose fragrance. 
absolutely love it. Look at that bottle, you guys. Somebody on TikTok told me, because I did a TikTok with this one, and they said that they thought it was nail polish. How funny. I guess without the cap, it kind of does look like, kind of does look like nail polish. <laughs> Next one that I have is Glow. It's from JLo, and it's Miami Glow. <laughs> This was like a really great discovery for me in 2021. Um, I love this fragrance. Um, I I don't know that I would actually I feel like I would repurchase because I, I did go through it pretty quickly. That is a great celebrity fragrance. Um, if you are kind of uh, sensitive to synthetics, maybe not for you. But if you don't mind a synthetic um, composition, you might like this one. Next fragrance is also from Zara, and this one is called Apple Juice. This is supposed to be similar to Chanel Chanso Tendre uh, in the pink bottle, or in the with the pink juice. And uh, they do smell similar. I Eau Tendre kind of has more spritzy quality to it, but this is great. This satisfies my uh, craving for Chanel Chanso Tendre. The next one that I have is from Jean-Paul Gaultier, my only Jean-Paul Gaultier, and this is La Belle Le Parfum. You guys, this was so hyped up in the fragrance community, especially the original. This is great. Um, I don't think I would repurchase, but I do have to get my nose on the original and see if maybe that one is a super love for me. But either way, I will enjoy this one until the very end. Um, I like it. It's not a love. But uh, look at this bottle. She is giving a body. Mercier, so it's another good cheapie. And this fragrance is called Ambre Vini. I have to give a shout out to my girl MJ here on YouTube. She's the one that put me on. And yeah, <laughs> I had a hard time with it. But then I heard Amy Glam say, this gives me Sol de Janeiro. Boom Boom Cream vibes, like the scent. Cheryl says 62, and I was like, it does. And this is much cheaper, and it lasts a really long time on the skin. And it does smell like Cheryl says 62. Next one that I have is from Nina Ricci, and this is Rose Extase. Look at this bottle. This is so beautiful. I love the color. And I love the juice that's in here. This smells uh, similar to Delina Exclusive from Parfums de Marly. Um, you know, it's not an exact dupe, but it gives off the same vibes. Next one is <laughs> one that I don't really reach for that much. I use this one as a room spray, but on occasion I do wear it. And I think it's nice. And it's a good cheapie. I found this one at a really affordable price. At Marshall's this one is called classic from banana Republic it is a nice citrus fragrance very easygoing um, it does lean a little bit masculine but it dries down very very unisex in my opinion uh, it dries down to where a man or a woman can wear it love this one okay and then I have max turquatic um, very nostalgic to me, um, and it's a nice, aquatic, fresh fragrance for the summertime. Uh, it's a good gym time scent. Anything casual, running errands, perfect. Uh, and look at this bottle. Yes. Okay, last but not least, worst purchase of 2021. Do not recommend this, please. Don't buy it. Okay, this is Dalal from Al Rahab. <laughs> Terrible, you guys. This is ch cheaper smelling than Gold Couture by Juicy Couture. Absolutely hate this fragrance. Do not recommend. Never buy it. Okay? Please, never buy it. <laughs> so yeah, that is it, you guys, as far as my perfume collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And yeah, leave me your scent of the day, you guys. I'm sorry for this being such a long video, 
But I love you guys. Take care and stay smelling good.